welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy. Hi, how you doing? Nice to see you. Today I'm doing a general session. So this is like a collective reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer private sessions. All that information will be in the description box below and my contact information will be up on the screen. All right, so how are you guys doing? Okay, uh, you know what? I'm going to, I'm feeling the pull from this these two decks first. We're going to do some golden Art Nouveau golden tarot. And uh, this is a Halloween Oracle. And I've been working a little bit more intensely with this deck, these two decks this week. So trying to unlock some uh, deeper aspects within the card. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's been a good thing. I've uh, done... I have the water signs left to do, but I've done all the other astrological signs, and I've used this deck primarily, these two decks. So I've added decks and, and changed it up, but for the most part. Okay, what can we get for the collective? What's the energy? Okay, there's one. I'm going to get five cards. I know some people like to see the shuffling, so how are you guys doing? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of uplifting energy here, so yeah, it's coming. If you're not feeling it yet, it's coming. Okay, I'm going to take this one, this one, of course that one, and this one. Okay, let me get, I think I'm going to get three of these cards as well. Okay. Ugh. Being difficult. <laughs> All right, there's one, and the bottom, okay. Okay, so let's look at this tarot here and see what we got going on. Oh, we have uh, the Fool here. It's a beautiful energy. Let's see, we have the Page of Pentacles. All right, we have the Page of Swords. Okay. We have the Five of Swords and we have the uh, Two of Swords. All right. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, as I was warming up the cards, I saw the Page of uh, Swords and the Page of Pentacles come out and the Five of Swords. All right. Okay, first of all, um, the Two of Swords here, I'm feeling like um, there's a need here for deep uh deep reflection about something. You may have a decision to make. Um, and, and this may be a big decision that you need to make. Okay. And I feel like you're, um, there's a need here to take a moment, take a moment with yourself and, um, know that you're protected. I'm feeling here with the two of swords, uh, this energy, this uh, woman has gone, and that's energy, not gender, has gone and uh, sought quiet by the ocean. And uh, the swords signify that she's protected as she seeks peace and balance and quiet. And um, the blindfold, it can symbolize uh, being kind of cut off from the world a little bit and reflecting. It's different from the uh, hermit card. And this is something that there's a decision here because I always feel a little bit of justice with this card. Like justice is at play. Uh, spirit is at play. Uh, the balance is at play. And um, I think there's a lot of energy coming through of not making harsh or brash or, um, or uh, jump to decisions. Okay. You need to take time to really think about what your goals are with this fool. Where is the fool leaping to? Okay. Um, this is a whole new, new journey. This is kind of a new situation. And I'm feeling like this isn't necessarily a stressful choice because of anything bad, but it's stressful because of the good that could be here. And I feel with the five of swords, there's a need here to walk away from a battle that's already happened, okay? Something's happened in your life and it has led you to and it was it was tough. It was it was brutal. And there was a decision you had to make. You had to make a decision whether to move on 
or stay there with the victor, quote unquote, all right? And uh, as this card presents, it, there is a need here to balance out your energies, reflect, see your where your faults might be, see where their faults might be, see where you both went wrong, see where you both went right. I think when you can start to see where you went right, you can start to vibrate towards the um, outcome and the decision that's going to best serve you. It's just really important to not be impulsive. I feel like you can, you can depend with this page of pentacles here. Uh, the outcome is a dependable one. Okay. So the choice you make will be good. It'll be a good choice. All right. So trust yourself, trust your choices, trust your journey here. Okay. This fool trusts that when they leap, they will be caught. They will find solid ground and they will be safe. So I'm feeling like the dog is a distract, dis, distraction here. And there may be an element with the five of swords that's distracting. It's like, um, okay, it's like, I'm feeling like celebrating with the um, enemy kind of thing. Like there was a battle won, battle lost, um, a decision made, something in life here that, and um, you can either, I'm hearing like sleep with the enemy, quote unquote, or you can move on. Uh, to find your own way. And I feel like that's what the fool's doing. They're moving on and finding their own way. And this could resonate in relationships, business. However, I'm, this is a general reading. Okay, so. All right, we have skeleton strength. Yeah, that's really what's coming from this pathway that's being opened up for you. There's a lot of strength coming forward, okay? Um. And, you know, how do we get strong? By flexing our muscles, right? By working out. And for many of you, this is an intense, like, um, mental, emotional, spiritual workout here. This whole situation. Uh, and it's really about gleaning the wisdom so you can move on. So you can leap onto this new pathway. And, uh, okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, we have the lamp. Remembrance, okay? Okay. It's important to remember the battle here. It's important to remember uh, what you went through and how you got there. And whether you won or lost, it doesn't matter. What matters is the journey. What matters is what you do now, okay? The uh, road before you, the path this, um, this fool's going to leap to, that's what matters. Bring your wisdom forward so you can sharpen your discernment and you can get clarity on where you're going, okay? And we have Night Song, Hidden Talents. All right, guys, this card keeps coming out. I think many of you have talents, and they may not be hidden, but they're not something that you put out there. And I really feel like your hidden talents and that leap card are connected, okay? The message keeps coming through more and more clearly that there are intricate, uh, complex, and varied talents within the collective. And they need to be brought out because it's going to help heal our collective. It's going to help heal our planet. And it's going to help build really good energy just in general. And the planet needs that right now. We need leaps of faith that um, help us bring through our most authentic selves. And that is extremely healing just for... Um, for people and for the planet. It's just a really healing energy. So, okay. All right, guys, that's what I got for today. So I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love to hear from you guys and I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.